Suno ruled the AI music world until Udio stepped in. Is Udio really better than Suno? I put it to the test and the results? Code up my rhythm, I don't need that human flaw. Sitting at my desk, watch the AI take control. Digital patterns while I craft the perfect tones. Blend the heavy riffs while the beats are turning cold. Yeah. In the studio, watch my circuits light. Wow, so take a guess. Was the first track a demo of Udio or was it a demo of Suno? Stick around and find out. And no cheating. Comment below your guess before the reveal. Be sure to watch the whole video because I'm going to go over a lot of things. Don't be that guy that claims I didn't provide the link in my video when clearly over 200 people watched the video and found the link and downloaded the Suno AI cheat sheet. It is free, by the way. However, a lot have even supported. For that, I thank you. Okay, so Udio, most of the big YouTubers already covered it, so it's already old news, but there are some who still haven't heard about it. So, Udio was recently released with a big hype behind it. People were claiming it's better than Suno, which is a big claim. However, is it? Well, you be the judge because I'm a firm believer that everything is relative. So the best judge is really you. It's available for everyone, so let's check it out. The interface is nice, has a familiar feel to Suno. Not exactly the same, but familiar. When you generate a song, just like Suno, it generates two tracks. However, how many tracks can we actually generate? Well, if we click on pricing, we'll see 1,200 songs per month absolutely free as a beta user. That's pretty incredible. As you know, Suno also offers a free account, which gives you 50 credits per day. And it doesn't stack, so use it or lose it. 50 per day basically means 5 generations per day, or 10 songs, because Suno generates 2 tracks per prompt. At 10 songs per day times 30 days, you get around 300 songs per month. Still very generous for something absolutely free. That's just me though. I'm not the type to complain about free. Although I know a lot of people do, especially those hateful people that end up on my channel for some reason. Anyways, since we are on the topic, if you follow my channel, you probably know that Suno in the free version doesn't give you commercial usage. So yes, you need a paid Suno plan in order for commercial usage within Suno. And a commercial plan start at 10 bucks per month with 2,500 credits, which is what I normally use. However, what about commercial usage for Udio? Well, that was my first question when I found out about it. And unlike Suno, finding the commercial usage rights wasn't under the frequently asked questions. It was under the terms of service page. And so I did a quick search by typing control plus F and searched for commercial. Let's see what it has to say. You know what? Scratch that. Let me just sum it all up for you. Basically, yes, you can use your output commercially. However, Udio still has the right to use your output as well. So can it be uploaded to Spotify like Suno? Yes, as long as it's your output. I just want to state that I am not a lawyer. If I were, I'd probably not be making YouTube videos. I'd be doing lawyer things. So don't just take my word for it, even though I am an internet expert. Go ahead and take a look for yourself. It's right here, terms of service. So now that we got that out of the way, on to the fun part, taking Udio for a ride. Let's check it out. When it comes to prompting, just like Suno, you can enter a basic descriptive prompt. You can click on the dice icon for a random output. You can select from suggested tags. They also have a manual prompt mode, which is toggled off by default. So if you write out a prompt without checking the manual prompt mode, Udio will do some magical rewriting of your initial prompt behind the scenes and add in some spice to your prompt using a GPT model. If you've seen my video on ideogram for image generation, this is similar to that magic prompt button. So if you want complete control over your prompt, be sure to toggle manual mode. Next, they have a custom lyric section similar to Suno. You'd use meta tags like this and you'd be able to write out your very own custom lyrics. They have an instrumental mode and the auto-generated mode, which will create the lyrics for you. They have a lyrics tips here. You can go ahead and ignore that. I, I'm just kidding. It basically says write lyrics suitable for a 30 second clip about six lines for most songs. They have some staff picks, trending, top categories, top tracks, and more tracks for you. 
I hate you with all your heart. Huh. My man pooped his pants at work. Nice. I like how these songs fell under the more tracks for you section. It's like it knows me. Anyways, let's start preparing for the battle. For this, I'll do the top five genres according to perplexity. They are rock pop rap slash hip-hop country and r&b however since i'm not a huge fan of country and r&b i'll be replacing them with reggae and edm slash electronic i'll use the dice feature on udio to get a random prompt then change the genre i'll copy and paste the same exact prompt and genre into suno and generate the tracks if you want to compare some other genres feel free to do your own testing now when it comes to comparing these ai tools there are many different ways to do so however for me i'll be using the absolute most basic prompts in the world keep in mind each generation will be different regardless of the prompt used you could use the exact same prompt as me and roll better results so just keep that in mind my video is to showcase what was generated for me on my end so let's get into it how i'll do this is i'll let udio go up first since it's the underdog i'll click the dice button to get a random prompt then switch out the genre I'll copy and paste the exact same prompt and use it in Suno. Now, generating takes quite some time from Udio. Therefore, I'll end up speeding up this video for the other generations. As you can see, Suno is already done generating the two tracks. Udio is still going. So moving forward, I'll be cutting and chopping up these parts to make things faster. However, I'll show you exactly how long it takes between the two. I'm not sure exactly when Suno was finished generating its two tracks. However, when I did check back, it was finished. And I think from there, it took an extra minute or two for Udio to finish generating its two tracks. So as far as speed goes, Suno wins 100% of the time. Now this can change. Udio is brand new and still has some kinks to work out. While we let Udio finish generating, I'll throw up on the screen my personal notes, which is a list of pros and cons between Udio and Suno. This is my personal list. If you feel I should add something to it, let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind, it's a mixture of pros and cons and it's not sorted out. I'll keep it displayed on the screen while you view the recording of me waiting and repeatedly checking if the audio finished generating. Udio looks like it finished. Let's start with Udio. Okay, that was Udio. Now let's go ahead and listen to Suno. Through the dark woods where secrets reside, whispers of the shadows, no place to hide. Mysterious creatures lurking in the night, in a forbidden forest where darkness ignites. Okay, that was Suno. As you can see, Suno did create a 1 minute and 54 second track compared to Udio's 33 second track. Just so you know, Udio is capped out at 33 seconds and Suno V3 does up to 2 minute long tracks. Let's hear the other two tracks. This is the second track from Udio for the rock category. We walk through the woods of the whispered myths The legend hides in the tangled drifts we're searching for truth, it's concealing And I see the shadows flickering under the moonlight And the heartbeat of the earth pulses in the still night Finding the mystery That was a second track from Udio. Now let's hear Suno. Through the dark woods where secrets reside Whispers are high Mysterious creatures Lurking in the night In the forbidden forest Where darkness ignites Echoes 
Tales of secrets Haunting the air The twisted trees Whisper tales of despair Ancient spells cast A mystical display that was Suno. Well, for me personally, I do have to admit that Uriel's voice quality sounds much better. However, how can I say this? I guess the rhythm or style, I'd have to give it to Suno. I noticed that Uriel seems to produce a lot of older style sounding music, whereas Suno sounds more current, if that makes sense. So really, it does come down to personal preference. Let's continue with this battle. Next up, the dice just so happened to roll reggae. So it is what it is. Here is the reggae genre from Udio. Like the rose meet your feet, hey, keep moving free, yeah. Uh, though the muscles, they burn and the lungs, they cry. Stride off the stride, under the vast sky, the medal awaits, honor in your eye. With every heart beat, your spirits, they fly. Remember the trials, remember the why, yeah. That was reggae with Udio. Let's hear Suno. Feeling the rhythm, feeling the pace. I'm running this race, gotta keep up the chase. Sweat dripping down, heart pumping wild. I'm gonna push through the pain, gonna run that final mile. Legs feeling heavy, but my mind is strong. I've come too far to give up. Come too long with every step getting closer to the end. I okay, so that was Suno. I think I'm giving this one to Udio. To me, personally, I know Suno labeled this as energetic reggae. However, I don't know if I can personally classify that as reggae. That's just me though. As I mentioned, Udio does produce that really old school vibes and that reggae track reminded me of something like that old school Yellow Man or Bob Marley songs. Anyways, let's hear the last two reggae tracks. Here is Udio. Just let me break through this wall that I see. You see, old school reggae vibes, really nostalgic reggae vibes here. Here is what Suno generated for its second track. Feeling the rhythm, feeling the pace I'm running this race, gotta keep up the chase Sweat tripping down, heart pumping wild Gonna push through the pain, gonna run that final mile Legs feeling heavy, but my mind is strong I've come too far to give up I've come too long With every step I'm getting closer to the end I can taste the victory and that was Suno. So yeah, I'm still giving this one to Udio for reggae. Now I tried to continue, but I had to cut the video short. As you can see, after multiple attempts of trying to generate the next tracks with Udio, I kept on getting an error message. So I tried to roll the dice again, and I kept on getting the error. I'm not sure if maybe the servers were flooded at the time. However, I even thought maybe I had to change the genre from pop to pop music. However, that didn't work either. So I came back later to try again, and I guess it decided to work. So here is the first generation from Udio for the pop music category. We're standing strong. Just you and Everlasting, so complete Yes, she's pouring her love on me That was Udio for pop music genre. Let's hear what Suno generated. 
Here we are, side by side, 50 years Time has flown by through the highs and lows We've come so far, our love still shining like the brightest star We face storms, we face strife, but baby we stood the test of time through every laugh and every tear. That was Suno. Definitely sounds more modern pop, I guess. However, I'm not really a pop genre guy, so I really can't judge these results. I'll give this one a tie, I guess. Let me know in the comments what you think so far. Let's check out the last two tracks. Okay, so the second track from Udio reminds me of some type of Katy Perry type of song. The vocals was clean though. Let's hear Suno. Here we are, side by side. 50 years, time has flown by. Through the highs and lows, we've come so far. Our love still shining like the brightest star. We face storms. We face strife, but baby, we've stood the test of time Through every laugh and every tear, our love grows stronger Year after year That gave me Ed Sheeran vibes. That was Suno. Up next, rap genre. Let's hear it for Udio. This flows like a comet, yeah, it's that bright Zooming through the sky in the dead of night once the shot and star, now it's losing height. Fell from the cosmos out of plain sight. Wish upon it. Maybe you'll find a path through the dark <laughs> left behind. That's the tale of a star on decline. Burning out after crossing the line. This gave me a tribe called Quest type vibes. Very old school hip hop. Let's see what Suno created. Um, I don't know. This kind of gave me maybe some newer Hollywood Undead vibes, rock rap type of thing. But let's hear the second track from Udio. Watching a bright light as it fades to dark Falling from the heights, yeah, it left its mark The story of a star that once lit up the block Shining so high, but it took a hard knock Now it's hard to grasp like shadows in the wind Once on the blast, now where to begin? Maybe we'll never see that star up in the sky Trying to draft the plant, ask the heavens why Can't write it off, tax my soul so thin Damn is my voice even heard above the din Okay, this was UK rap. I like how it got that UK accent down. That was pretty cool. Here's the second rap track from Suno. Uh, this gave me Nefix vibes. 
So again, I went to generate the last genre, which was electronic slash EDM and started to get an error again with Udio. So I decided to take a break and come back to it. I noticed when this happens, it's best to walk away and come back at a later time to try again. After getting it to generate, let's listen to the last category, which will fall under the instrumental electronic synth pop EDM. Here is Udio. This track feels like it escaped from an 80s training video. You know, those training videos they make you watch as a no hire. Reminded me of the intro they play in those videos right before the video training instructor comes on to speak. Anyways, let's hear what Suno created. I don't know how to explain it, but it's similar, just more modern, I guess. And that's what I was saying from the start. Udio really does feel like it generates more old school vibes and Suno more modern vibes. That's just me though. Let's hear those last two tracks. I don't know, this gave me, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue vibes. And last but not least, Suno. Okay, yeah, definitely more modern vibes with Suno. The modern vibes is strong with this one. So there we go. Completely random prompts in specific genres. What are your thoughts? Either way, both are free, so try. So I highly recommend you do some testing of your own. And if you haven't seen this video yet, be sure to watch it. It covers prompting for Suno, but you'll be able to use it on Udio as well, since it does look like it follows the same structure with meta tags and such. Again, I have to thank you all for your love and support on the last video video keeps me going as for this video it has the link for the suno prompting cheat sheet so be sure to check it out and download it it's free